for himself. Man, what a huge break oh. that was. Oh. Four staring at him, trips the 6'10 late. Mika, who prides himself on his spare conversions, should be able to convert this 4 7 without a problem. But look at that huge break. Wow. What a late kick on that 10. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mike Scroggins gets up now, working on a double. Can almost seal the deal for his own cause with a strike here because it'll put him in the two teens. Big shot coming up right now. Currently third, and that is just good enough to move on. Seven. God, even a little carry. Yeah, he's had no carry this game, but again, he needs a spare, and then nine spare nine in the tenth frame, and he moves on no matter what Rhino Page does. And Rob, Chris Barnes getting up now in the ninth frame, all he needs to do is just stay out of his own way. A mark of any kind here in the ninth, a mark of any kind in the tenth frame, he advances. Two-time All-American at Wichita State. We're going to talk some collegiate bowling a little later in our broadcast. A heavy collegiate feel with our three of our four finalists here having bowled collegiately here in the States. It up, he will move on. The worst song ever. Apparently, Barnes not song a big fan forward. of that song. Of that song, but everybody adores the phrase. <laughs> <laughs> as far as you know, yeah, exactly. Oh boy! Must strike situation for Rhino Page coming off an open frame nine in the eighth. Never know. Well, you're, you're right, Rhino. You don't. You still have some life. You could take Chris Barnes out of the equation. He's moving on. All he has to do is keep it on the lane in the 10th frame. Mika Kuiwuniemi is in the two teens. However, remember his last shot? He almost left the big four. A big four in this situation may prove costly for Mika Kuiwuniemi. on the right lane. Mika Koivuniemi will move on as well. The two right-handers have accomplished what they set out to do, at least in this match, and that's to move on. One left-hander, one southpaw, will be eliminated. Will it be Rhino Page or Mike Scroggins? We saw the facial expression on Mika Koivuniemi as he kind of had that frightened look. He was taking some back steps and almost fell off a little ledge onto the lap of Chris Barnes. Well, they are tour roommates, so... It's okay. It doesn't matter. Open frame here. He's still in the two teams. Best again. Ronald Page can only shoot 202. It's all going to come down to Mike Scroggins and what he does in the 10th frame. Two twelve. He takes a seat and moves on. Rhino Page may be moving on as well, but not in the direction he wants. So Scroggins, who entered as the one seed, needs just a mark and some favorable count to move on. his fifth strike of this match and the numbers 
are not working in Rhino Page's favor right now. Need six and two balls. I think Mike Scroggins can handle it. Rhino Page's day is go going to come to an end. Now the question is, can Mike Scroggins figure out a way to carry better in our next matchup going up against the two right-handers? his second pair of strikes. Scroggins moves on to join the two righties, Chris Barnes and Mika Korbuniemi. And Rob, you know, this may work out into Mike Scroggins' favor because now he's the lone left-hander, no more traffic. Chris Barnes and Mika Korbuniemi, well, they're going to have to battle through a little bit of transition. They're still using aggressive sanded equipment. The lanes are going to change more drastically. That's all right. On the right side of the lane, this could be right in Mike Scroggins' wheelhouse. Oh, boy. <laughs> From an old boy to an oh, yeah. Well, he's a little bit surprised with that. He felt That's that it was a bit right of where it needed to be to get to the pocket. and That may be an eye-opener for Chris Barnes in this next match. Speed bowling here as Rhino Page steps up, fires one down. Chris Barnes, the defending champ. He has never successfully defended a title, and he will still have that chance today here in Columbus. A defiant 10. Rhino Page will spend the week here in Columbus practicing, getting sharp for two weeks from today. Norwich, Connecticut. Another fun format there in Norwich. And again, Rhino Page, your defending champ. Wow. 2.30 actually advances. That's fun. In Norwich, Connecticut. So Barnes will take a seat with a 2.38. Scroggins will actually end up in second with a 2.16. Koivu Niemi with a 2.38. 12. Right. Finish is strong, but he's done. So Page, the low man out. Barnes, Scroggins, Koibu Niemi move on. When we return, a reflection back on the Hall of Fame career of the namesake of our tournament, Don Johnson. Chris Barnes still alive to defend that title in CBUS. This is a photo of our first lumber liquidator store. We didn't have a fancy showroom or an expensive location. Our goal was simply to provide great hardwood flooring at the best possible prices anywhere. Today, as the largest direct retailer of hardwood flooring, we're still not fancy and a bit out of the way, but we continue to have the best hardwood flooring at incredible prices. Two and a quarter inch solid oak utility grade flooring, only 99 cents a square foot. Supreme pre-finished horizontal natural bamboo, just one ninety nine a square foot. Visit your local lumber liquidators or lumberliquidators.com. I know.